Hello dear drum community, my name is Timo Igenroth and I welcome you to my channel Jazz Drummer's Corner. This video is about the notation of the typical and so important swing pattern for jazz. Let's go! The swing pattern we just heard is the supposedly most important rhythm in jazz from around about the 1920s to 1930s and more or less actually until today. In simplified terms, the swing pattern is a rhythm based on 8 note triplets. The swing pattern is now shown 3 times. I have notated the rhythm on the staff of the right symbol, at least where I usually notate the right. There are many other ways of notating the swing pattern, but in my opinion, the 3 shown are the clearest and most common. As you can see, both note examples A and B are written in ternary notation. For example, with 8 note triplets. I count 8 note triplets starting from a 4 4 measure 1 theta, 2 theta, 3 theta, 4 theta. Example C is written with even 8 notes, but the ternary rhythm of A and B should be played here as well. All three variations sound identical. At this point we could start a discussion about whether the swing pattern is really triplet and interpreted identically by every drummer. The answer is of course no. The swing pattern leaves room for interpretation, stretching and contracting. Especially the tempo plays a decisive role here. But the triplet interpretation of the swing pattern is an excellent starting point and the perfect starting point to learn and acquire the pattern. To avoid rests, example C is often notated. You can see that example C should also be interpreted ternary by the indication above it. The indication above the notes shows two binary 8 notes. These should be a quarter triplet followed by an 8th triplet. If you find such an indication above the note line, it means that the 8 notes are not to be played binary as notated but ternary. So there is a reinterpretation of the notes. If two binary 8 notes are written, then according to the indication, the first and the third triplet 8 notes are to be played instead of them. The second triplet 8 notes is therefore not played. Instead of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, you play 1 teet, 2 teet, 3 teet, 4 teet. The advantage of this way of writing is, as already mentioned, that less rests have to be written down and you get a better overview, especially when reading fast. This notation is very common among us drummers, for example in big band sheet music or song charts and is not only used for swing patterns, but it is also used when grooves, reading exercises, fill-ins and so on are to be interpreted in ternary. Another characteristic for swing is the hi-hat step on the beats 2 and 4. You can see this now in the examples A, B and C at the corresponding beats below the swing pattern as a cross under an auxiliary line.
I hope I could bring you closer to the notation of the swing pattern. In this sense, thank you for watching. See you at the next tutorial. Take care, your Timo.